Good morning, Clay Chalkfield. This is Zach Jones. And Jordan Allen with CCN TV. Today is March 1st, 2019, and here are your announcements for the day. Juniors and seniors who are attending prom this year, if you would like for your name to be on the ballot for prom, prince, princess, king, or queen, you must complete an application. Applications are located outside of Mrs. Carter's room. This completed form must be turned into Mrs. Carter no later than Friday, March 22nd. Voting from prom court will take place from 8 to 10 o'clock on prom night. AP students, the deadline to pay for an AP exam has been extended to April 5th. Payments can, payments can be made in the main office. The career tech classes are taking donations of business attire in order to create a professional dress closet. Know someone cleaning out their closet? Ask them to donate clean, gently used business wear. Lanyards are still being sold by FCCLA. Gray, la gray lanyards are $1, colored lanyards are $2. Please see Ms. Mizell or Ms. Tucker to buy one. The Video Game Club is back to meeting every Tuesday afternoon in Mr. Pitt's class. Be sure to stop by and sign up. Volleyball trials will be March 19th through 20th from 3.15 to 4.30 p.m. All students interested need to have a physical form completed by a physician to try out. See Coach Brown for more information. Now it's time for our weekly news segment. This week, Sarah and Laura will be reporting on the opening of the new elementary school in the Chalkville area, Bryant Park Elementary. Good morning, Clay Chalkful. I'm currently on site at the new Bryant Park Elementary School. The new elementary school will balance enrollment and fix overcrowding in Chalkville Elementary. It will take about 500 of Chalkville's 1,300 students. Now I'm going to hand it over to Sarah to get some more thoughts on this development. Thanks, Laura. So, how do you feel about the new elementary school? I feel that that's a great idea to build a new um, elementary school because I've heard it's a lot of kids going into one. So building a new one, it would like cut it in half, so that's great. They make a new uh, elementary school, uh, it would probably make a new rivalry. And since I went to Chalkville, it was pretty overcrowded. And who knows, it might even help the teachers connect with the students more. Tune in next time to find out the Board of Education's further plans for this project. This has been Laura Buchanan with CCN TV. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for Kicks on Friday, where we show you the freshest shoes that came out this week. Take a look. What's up, Clay Chalfa? I'm Darius. And I'm Elijah. And this week, we're back with another episode of Kicks on Friday. This week, highlight shoes are the Adidas Yeezy Boost Salts and the Nike Air Max 95 Midnight Navies. First shoe is the Yeezy Boost Salts. This shoe has a natural theme with a light gray cell with a white covering. Check it out. I rate this shoe a 7 out of 10. Next up, we got the Nike Air Max 95 Midnight Navy. This shoe colorway features a pure platinum. Midnight navy white and touches of pink and orange. Take a look, let me know what you think. That's it for this week's episode on Kicks, a Kicks on Friday. Stay tuned for more episodes of Kicks on Friday. Today's lunch will be chicken alfredo with homemade roll, cheese dippers, marinara sauce, salad with croutons, and roasted veggies. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, CCHS.